Welcome to Global City Guide. Let's explore Canada. In our last video, we explained Canada and its art, culture, and history. Also, we explained the three provinces of Canada. These three provinces are Alberta, British Columbia, and Manitoba. In this video, we are explaining another five provinces of Canada. Today we are explaining these provinces named New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Northwest Territories, Nova Scotia, Nunavut. New Brunswick New Brunswick is a Canadian province located on the east coast of Canada, bordered by Quebec, Nova Scotia, and the United States. It has a population of approximately 780,000 people, with the majority living in the cities of Fredericton, St. John, and Moncton. The province is known for its natural beauty, with attractions such as Fundy National Park, Hopewell Rocks, and the Bay of Fundy, which has the highest tides in the world. Other popular destinations include Couchabaugwak National Park, Parley Beach Provincial Park, and the city of St. Andrews, which is famous for its historic charm and whale-watching tours. The culture of New Brunswick is influenced by its French and English heritage, with many festivals and events celebrating its cultural traditions. The province is also home to a thriving arts community, with numerous galleries, museums, and theaters showcasing local talent. New Brunswick has a diverse economy, with industries such as forestry, fishing, agriculture, and manufacturing playing important roles in the province's growth. The cost of living in New Brunswick is generally lower than other parts of Canada, making it an attractive option for those seeking affordable living. The province has a rich history, with early settlements dating back to the 1600s. It was also a key player in the Confederation of Canada in 1867, and has played a significant role in shaping the country's political and economic landscape. The climate of New Brunswick is generally moderate, with warm summers and cold winters. The province experiences a range of weather conditions, including heavy snowfall in the winter, and occasional hurricanes and tropical storms in the summer and fall. Overall, New Brunswick offers a unique combination of natural beauty, cultural heritage, and economic opportunity, making it an attractive destination for both tourists and those looking to make it their home. Fundy National Park Fundy National Park is located on the Bay of Fundy and is home to a variety of natural wonders, including waterfalls, hiking trails, and stunning coastal views. The park is also famous for its high tides, which are the highest in the world and can reach up to 50 feet. 1. Hopewell Rocks Hopewell Rocks are a series of unique rock formations that have been carved by the tides of the Bay of Fundy. Visitors can explore the rocks at low tide and walk along the ocean floor, or kayak around the formations for a unique perspective. 2. Couchabaugwak National Park Couchabaugwak National Park is located on the east coast of New Brunswick and features over 25 miles of pristine sandy beaches, as well as diverse wildlife and bird species. The park is also home to hiking and biking trails, kayaking opportunities, and camping facilities. 3. Magnetic Hill Magnetic Hill is a natural phenomenon where vehicles appear to roll uphill against gravity. Visitors can park their car at the bottom of the hill and watch as it appears to roll uphill on its own. 4. Reversing Falls The Reversing Falls is a natural phenomenon where the tides of the Bay of Fundy cause the St. John River to flow backwards. Visitors can watch the rapids from a viewing platform or take a boat tour to get an up-close view. 5. St. John City Market St. John City Market is a historic indoor market that has been operating since 1876. Visitors can browse through stalls selling fresh seafood, local produce, and handmade crafts. 6. St. Andrews by the Sea St. Andrews by the Sea is a charming seaside town located on the Bay of Fundy. It is known for its historic architecture, well watching tours, and beautiful gardens. 7. Irving Nature Park Irving Nature Park is a 600 acre nature reserve located on the coast of St. John. The park features hiking trails, a beach, and a variety of bird species and other wildlife. 8. Minister's Island Minister's Island is a small island accessible only at low tide via a sandbar. It was once the summer residence of Sir William Van Horn, president of the Canadian Pacific Railway, and is now a popular tourist attraction with historic buildings and gardens. 9. New Brunswick Museum The New Brunswick Museum in St. John is the oldest continuing museum in Canada, with exhibits covering the natural and cultural history of the province. 10. Shediac Bay Cruises Shediac Bay Cruises offers boat tours of the Northumberland Strait, where visitors can see lighthouses, islands, and marine life such as seals and porpoises. 11. Grand Manan Island 
Grand Manan Island is located in the Bay of Fundy and is known for its rugged coastline, hiking trails, and whale watching tours. 12. Moncton Magnetic Hill Zoo The Moncton Magnetic Hill Zoo is a popular attraction that features over 625 animals from 90 different species. It is also home to the largest reptile exhibit in Atlantic Canada. 13. Joggins Fossil Cliffs Joggins Fossil Cliffs is a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is known for its fossils from the Carboniferous period, including ancient trees, amphibians, and insects. 14. King's Landing King's Landing is a living history museum that showcases life in 19th century New Brunswick. Visitors can explore historic buildings, participate in period activities, and watch live demonstrations. 15. Village Historique Acadian The Village Historique Acadian is a living history museum that showcases Acadian culture and history. Visitors can explore historic buildings, watch demonstrations, and participate in cultural activities. Mount Carlton Provincial Park Mount Carlton Provincial Park is located in northern New Brunswick and is home to the province's highest peak, Mount Carlton. The park features hiking trails, fishing opportunities, and camping facilities. 16. Acadian Peninsula The Acadian Peninsula is a beautiful region of New Brunswick that is home to many fishing villages and stunning coastal scenery. It is also known for its Acadian culture and heritage, which visitors can learn about at local museums and festivals. 17. Heartland Covered Bridge The Heartland Covered Bridge is the world's longest covered bridge, spanning 1,282 feet over the St. John River. Visitors can drive or walk across the bridge and enjoy scenic views of the river and surrounding countryside. 18. Fredericton Fredericton is the capital city of New Brunswick and is known for its historic architecture, beautiful parks, and vibrant art scene. Visitors can explore the city's many museums, galleries, and restaurants, or take a stroll along the scenic St. John River. 19. St. John River The St. John River is one of the longest rivers in eastern Canada and flows through much of New Brunswick. Visitors can enjoy scenic boat tours, kayaking, fishing, and hiking along the river's banks. 20. Miramichi River The Miramichi River is one of the premier salmon fishing destinations in the world, and visitors can take guided fishing trips or simply enjoy the beautiful scenery along the river. 21. Grand Falls Gorge Grand Falls Gorge is a stunning natural attraction that features a 300-foot waterfall and rugged gorge. Visitors can explore hiking trails, take a zipline tour, or enjoy the view from a scenic lookout. 22. Sackville Waterfall Park The Sackville Waterfall Park is a beautiful park that is home to over 160 species of birds, including ducks, geese, and herons. Visitors can walk along the park's trails, observe the birds, and learn about wetland conservation. 23. Irving Eco Center The Irving Eco Center is a nature reserve located on the coast of Buktush Bay. It features hiking trails, bird watching opportunities, and educational exhibits on local wildlife and ecosystems. 24. Mount Allison University Mount Allison University is a small liberal arts university located in Sackville. The university is known for its beautiful campus, historic architecture, and strong academic programs. 25. Cape and Rage Cape and Rage is a scenic headland located on the Bay of Fundy. Visitors can enjoy panoramic views of the coastline, explore hiking trails, or take a guided zipline tour over the cliffs. 26. The Algonquin Resort The Algonquin Resort is a historic hotel located in St. Andrews-by-the-Sea. It features luxurious accommodations, a spa, and a golf course, as well as stunning views of the Bay of Fundy. 27. Roosevelt Campobello International Park Roosevelt Campobello International Park is a unique park that straddles the border between New Brunswick and the United States. It is home to the summer cottage of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, as well as hiking trails, beaches, and scenic views of the Bay of Fundy. 28. La Dune de Bouctouche La Dune de Bouctouche is a beautiful sand dune located on the coast of Bouctouche Bay. Visitors can walk along the boardwalk, explore the beach, or take a guided tour to learn about the dune's unique ecosystem. Newfoundland and Labrador Newfoundland and Labrador is a province located in eastern Canada, on the Atlantic coast. The province is home to a population of approximately 520,000 people, with the majority living in the capital city of St. John's. Newfoundland and Labrador is known for its rugged natural beauty, with stunning coastlines, forests, and mountains. It is also home to a unique culture, which blends English, Irish, and indigenous traditions. The province has a rich history, 
with indigenous peoples living in the area for thousands of years before European colonization in the 16th century. In terms of popular places, Newfoundland and Labrador has many attractions for visitors to enjoy. Some of the most popular include Gromorn National Park, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its stunning natural beauty and hiking trails. The capital city of St. John's is also a popular destination, with its colorful houses, historic architecture, and lively arts and music scene. Other popular attractions include Lance AUX Meadows, a Viking settlement that dates back to the 11th century, and the Iceberg Alley, where visitors can see massive icebergs floating along the coast. In terms of climate, Newfoundland and Labrador has a maritime climate, which means it experiences mild summers and cold winters. The province is also known for its frequent fog and rainfall, which contributes to its lush forests and natural beauty. Overall, living in Newfoundland and Labrador can be a unique and rewarding experience for those who appreciate natural beauty, history, and cultural diversity. The province has a strong economy, with industry such as fishing, oil, and gas, and tourism contributing to its growth. In terms of art, the province is home to many talented artists and musicians, with folk music and traditional arts being particularly popular. For those looking to live in Newfoundland and Labrador, there are many opportunities for outdoor recreation, including hiking, fishing, and skiing, as well as a strong sense of community and connection to the land. Gromorn National Park This stunning park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to some of the most breathtaking landscapes in Canada. The park offers a wide range of activities, from hiking and kayaking to camping and wildlife viewing. 1. Signal Hill Located in the heart of St. John's, Signal Hill offers panoramic views of the city and the sea. It is also home to several historic sites, including the Cabot Tower and the Signal Hill Tattoo. 2. Lance AUX Meadows National Historic Site This site is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and home to the remains of a Viking settlement that dates back to the 11th century. Visitors can explore the reconstructed Norse buildings and learn about the history of the site. 3. The East Coast Trail This scenic trail winds along the rugged coast of Newfoundland and offers stunning views of the sea and the landscape. The trail is over 300 kilometers long and offers a range of difficulty levels. 4. The Johnson GEO Center This science and technology museum is located in St. John's and offers interactive exhibits on geology, mining, and natural history. 5. Cape Spear Lighthouse This historic lighthouse is located on the easternmost point of North America and offers stunning views of the sea and the landscape. 6. Terra Nova National Park this park is located on the east coast of Newfoundland and offers a range of activities, from hiking and camping to fishing and boating. 7. The Rooms This museum and cultural center is located in St. John's and features exhibits on the history, culture, and art of Newfoundland and Labrador. 8. Fogo Island This stunning island is located off the northeast coast of Newfoundland and is known for its unique culture, stunning scenery, and artistic community. 9. Grow Morn Theatre Festival, this annual festival takes place in Cowhead, Newfoundland and features live theatre performances, music, and comedy. 10. Bay of Fundy, this bay is located on the border between New Brunswick and Nova Scotia and is home to some of the highest tides in the world. 11. Quidi Viti Village, this historic fishing village is located in St. John's and is home to a range of artists and artisans. 12. The Great Viking Feast, this annual event takes place in Lance AUX Meadows and features a traditional Viking feast, live music, and cultural activities. 13. Red Bay National Historic Site This site is located in Labrador and is home to the remains of a 16th-century Basque whaling station. 14. Twillingate This charming town is located on the northeast coast of Newfoundland and is known for its stunning scenery and lively arts community. 15. George Street this lively street in downtown St. John's is known for its vibrant nightlife, live music, and pubs. 16. Grow Morn Music Festival This annual music festival takes place in Woody Point, Newfoundland and features live performances by local and national musicians. 17. Marble Mountain This ski resort is located in western Newfoundland and offers a range of winter activities, including skiing, snowboarding, and snowshoeing. 18. Torngat Mountains National Park this park is located in northern Labrador and is home to some of the most stunning and remote landscapes in Canada. 19. Labrador Coastal Drive This scenic drive winds along the rugged coast of Labrador and offers stunning views of the sea and the landscape. It is also home to several historic sites and cultural attractions. Northwest Territories
The Northwest Territories is a northern territory in Canada that spans over 1.1 million square kilometers. The population of the Northwest Territories is around 45,000 people, with most of the population residing in Yellowknife, the territory's capital city. The majority of the territory is covered by forest, tundra, and water bodies, with a diverse range of wildlife such as caribou, muskoxen, and polar bears. The Northwest Territories is known for its stunning natural landscapes, including the Northern Lights, Great Bear Lake, and Nahani National Park Reserve. The region is also home to a rich indigenous culture, with several indigenous communities such as the Dean, Inuit, and Métis. The indigenous culture is reflected in the art, music, and food of the region. Living in the Northwest Territories can be challenging due to its remote location and harsh climate. The winters can be long and cold, with temperatures dropping to minus 40 degrees Celsius, and the summers can be short and mild. However, the region offers unique opportunities for adventure and outdoor activities such as hunting, fishing, skiing, and snowmobiling. The history of the Northwest Territories dates back to the indigenous people who have inhabited the region for thousands of years. In the 18th century, European explorers began to explore the region, and the fur trade became a major industry. The region became a Canadian territory in 1870 and has since developed into a diverse and multicultural region. Art in the Northwest Territories is influenced by the indigenous culture and the natural landscapes of the region. Indigenous art such as carvings, paintings, and sculptures are popular, as well as modern art inspired by the northern lights and wildlife of the region. Popular places in the Northwest Territories include Yellowknife, Great Bear Lake, Nahani National Park Reserve, Wood Buffalo National Park, and the Mackenzie River. Visitors can also explore indigenous communities and cultural sites to learn about the history and culture of the region. In conclusion, the Northwest Territories is a unique and diverse region with stunning natural landscapes and a rich indigenous culture. While living in the region can be challenging, it offers opportunities for adventure and outdoor activities, as well as a chance to experience a different way of life. Nahani National Park Reserve Nahani National Park Reserve is a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its breathtaking landscapes, including the South Nahani River, Virginia Falls, and the Cirque of the Unclimbables. Visitors can explore the park on foot, by canoe, or on a guided tour. 1. Wood Buffalo National Park Wood Buffalo National Park is the largest national park in Canada and home to the world's largest herd of free-roaming wood bison. The park also features stunning landscapes, including salt plains, boreal forests, and wetlands. 2. Great Bear Lake Great Bear Lake is the largest lake in Canada and home to several indigenous communities. Visitors can fish for lake trout, visit the historic Dean village of Deline, and witness the stunning northern lights. 3. Inuvik Inuvik is a small town located north of the Arctic Circle and is known for its unique culture and stunning landscapes. Visitors can take a guided tour of the town, explore the Tuktoyaktuk Winter Road, or witness the midnight sun during the summer months. 4. Aurora Village Aurora Village is a unique resort located just outside of Yellowknife that offers visitors the chance to witness the northern lights in comfort. The resort features heated teepees, a restaurant, and guided tours to view the northern lights. 5. Olivik National Park Olivik National Park is a remote park located on Banks Island and is known for its unique wildlife, including muskoxen, arctic wolves, and polar bears. Visitors can explore the park on foot or by canoe and witness the stunning arctic landscapes. 6. Yellowknife Yellowknife is the capital city of the Northwest Territories and is known for its stunning landscapes, unique culture, and outdoor activities. Visitors can explore the city's museums, art galleries, and restaurants, or take part in activities such as dog sledding, ice fishing, and snowmobiling. 7. Fort Simpson Fort Simpson is a small town located on the banks of the Mackenzie River and is known for its unique culture and history. Visitors can explore the town's historic buildings, take a boat tour of the Mackenzie River, or learn about the indigenous culture at the local museum. 8. Detta Detta is an indigenous community located just outside of Yellowknife and is known for its unique culture and stunning landscapes. Visitors can take part in traditional activities such as dog sledding and snowshoeing, or witness the northern lights during the winter months. 9. Tuktut Nogate National Park Tuktut Nogate National Park is a remote park located in the northern part of the Northwest Territories and is known for its unique wildlife, including caribou, muskoxen, and grizzly bears. Visitors can explore the park on foot or by canoe and witness the stunning Arctic landscapes. 10. Fort Providence Fort Providence is a small town located on the banks of the Mackenzie River and is known for its unique culture and history. 
visitors can explore the town's historic buildings, take a boat tour of the Mackenzie River, or learn about the indigenous culture at the local museum. 11. Samba de Falls Territorial Park Samba de Falls Territorial Park is a park located on the banks of the Trout River and is known for its stunning waterfalls and unique wildlife. Visitors can explore the park on foot, by canoe, or on a guided tour. 12. Tlicho Community The Tlicho Community is an indigenous community located just outside of Yellowknife and is known for its unique culture and history. Visitors can take part in traditional activities such as dog sledding and snowshoeing, or witness the Northern Lights 13. Mackenzie Bison Sanctuary The Mackenzie Bison Sanctuary is a protected area located in the southern part of the Northwest Territories and is home to a large herd of wood bison. Visitors can explore the sanctuary on foot or on a guided tour to see the bison in their natural habitat. 14. Gwich'in Territorial Park The Gwich'in Territorial Park is a park located on the banks of the Peel River and is known for its unique wildlife and cultural significance. Visitors can explore the park on foot, by canoe, or on a guided tour to learn about the indigenous culture and history of the area. 15. Northern Frontier Visitor Center The Northern Frontier Visitor Center is located in Yellowknife and offers visitors information about the Northwest Territories and its many attractions. The center features exhibits, maps, and guided tours to help visitors plan their trip. 16. Great Slave Lake Great Slave Lake is the second largest lake in Canada and is known for its stunning scenery and unique wildlife. Visitors can fish for lake trout, explore the remote islands and beaches, or witness the northern lights during the winter months. 17. Fort Smith Fort Smith is a small town located near the border with Alberta and is known for its unique history and cultural significance. Visitors can explore the town's historic buildings, take part in traditional activities such as dog sledding and snowshoeing, or visit nearby attractions such as Wood Buffalo National Park. 18. Mackenzie River The Mackenzie River is the longest river in Canada and is known for its stunning scenery and unique wildlife. Visitors can take a boat tour of the river, explore the remote islands and beaches, or fish for Arctic grayling and other species. 19. Cannell Heritage Trail The Cannell Heritage Trail is a historic trail that runs through the southern part of the Northwest Territories and is known for its unique history and cultural significance. Visitors can hike the trail, explore the historic sites and artifacts, or learn about the area's oil and gas industry at the nearby museums. 20. Ivavik National Park Ivavik National Park is a remote park located in the northern part of the Northwest Territories and is known for its unique wildlife and stunning landscapes. Visitors can explore the park on foot, by canoe, or on a guided tour to witness the beauty of the Arctic. 21. Arctic Circle The Arctic Circle runs through the northern part of the Northwest Territories and is known for its unique culture and history. Visitors can witness the midnight sun during the summer months, explore the remote communities, or witness the stunning northern lights during the winter months. 22. Northern Arts and Cultural Center the Northern Arts and Cultural Center is located in Yellowknife and features a variety of exhibits, performances, and workshops that showcase the unique culture and history of the Northwest Territories. 23. Hay River Hay River is a small town located on the banks of the Hay River and is known for its unique culture and outdoor activities. Visitors can explore the town's historic buildings, take part in activities such as fishing and boating, or visit nearby attractions such as the Mackenzie Bison Sanctuary. 24. Northern Life Museum and Cultural Center The Northern Life Museum and Cultural Center is located in Fort Smith and features exhibits and artifacts that showcase the unique culture and history of the Northwest Territories. Visitors can learn about the indigenous communities, the fur trade, and the area's natural history. Nova Scotia Nova Scotia is a province located in eastern Canada, known for its scenic coastline, vibrant culture, and rich history. Here is a brief summary of Nova Scotia's population, popular places, culture, history, art, climate, and how to live there. Population Nova Scotia's population is approximately 973,000 people, with the majority living in Halifax, the province's capital city. Popular places Nova Scotia is home to many popular attractions, including 1. Peggy's Cove, a picturesque fishing village known for its iconic lighthouse and stunning coastal scenery. 2. Lunenburg a UNESCO World Heritage Site known for its colorful waterfront and historic architecture. 3. Cape Breton Highlands National Park, a stunning park with hiking trails, waterfalls, and panoramic views of the ocean. 4. Halifax Citadel National Historic Site, a historic fort that served as a key defensive point for the city of Halifax. 5. Annapolis Valley, a region known for its fertile farmland, 
apple orchards, and wineries. Culture Nova Scotia has a rich and vibrant culture, with a strong focus on music, food, and traditional crafts. The province is known for its Celtic roots, with many festivals and events celebrating Scottish and Irish culture. Nova Scotia is also home to the Mi'kmaq people, who have lived in the region for thousands of years and have a rich cultural heritage. History Nova Scotia has a long and storied history, dating back to the arrival of the first indigenous peoples thousands of years ago. The province has played an important role in Canada's history, serving as a key port for trade and immigration. Halifax was also a major centre for the Royal Canadian Navy during World War II. Art Nova Scotia is home to a thriving arts community, with a strong focus on traditional crafts such as woodworking, pottery, and quilting. The province is also home to many talented musicians and artists, with a number of galleries and performance spaces showcasing their work. Climate Nova Scotia has a humid continental climate, with warm summers and cold winters. The province is known for its unpredictable weather, with frequent fog and rain throughout the year. Living in Nova Scotia, Nova Scotia is a great place to live, with a high quality of life and a strong sense of community. The province is known for its affordable housing, excellent healthcare system, and high standard of education. There are also many job opportunities in industries such as healthcare, education, and tourism. The cost of living in Nova Scotia is relatively low compared to other provinces in Canada, making it an attractive option for those looking to relocate. Nova Scotia, Canada is a beautiful province with many exciting and unique attractions. From its stunning coastline to its rich cultural heritage, there is something for everyone to enjoy. Here are 20 popular attractions in Nova Scotia. 1. Peggy's Cove, one of the most famous attractions in Nova Scotia. Peggy's Cove is a picturesque fishing village known for its iconic lighthouse and stunning coastal scenery. 2. Halifax Citadel National Historic Site, this historic fort served as a key defensive point for the city of Halifax and offers visitors a glimpse into the area's military history. 3. Lunenburg, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, Lunenburg is known for its colorful waterfront and historic architecture. 4. Cape Breton Highlands National Park, this stunning park offers hiking trails, waterfalls, and panoramic views of the ocean. 5. Annapolis Valley, this region is known for its fertile farmland, apple orchards, and wineries, making it a popular spot for foodies and wine lovers. 6. Cabot Trail, this scenic drive winds through the Cape Breton Highlands and offers stunning views of the coast. 7. Kejimkujik National Park, this park features hiking trails, canoeing, and camping, as well as opportunities to learn about the area's indigenous heritage. 8. Mahone Bay, this charming town is known for its colorful wooden houses and quaint shops. 9. Joggins Fossil Cliffs, this UNESCO World Heritage Site offers a unique glimpse into the Earth's history, with exposed rock layers dating back over 300 million years. 10. Halifax Waterfront This bustling waterfront area is home to many shops, restaurants, and museums. 11. Fortress of Louisbourg National Historic Site This reconstruction of an 18th-century French fortress offers visitors a glimpse into life in colonial Canada. 12. Blomidon Provincial Park this park offers stunning views of the Bay of Fundy and features hiking trails and campsites. 13. Bay of Fundy This natural wonder is known for its dramatic tides, which rise and fall over 50 feet. 14. Cape Forshaw Lighthouse This iconic lighthouse offers stunning views of the coastline and the ocean. 15. Alexander Graham Bell National Historic Site This museum celebrates the life and work of the famous inventor, who spent much of his later years in Nova Scotia. 16. Acadian Village, this living history museum offers a glimpse into the lives of the Acadian people, who were the first French settlers in Nova Scotia. 17. Halifax Public Gardens, this beautiful park features formal gardens, fountains, and walking paths, making it a popular spot for locals and visitors alike. 18. Fisherman's Cove, this charming fishing village offers shops, restaurants, and tours of the area's fishing industry. 19. Sable Island, this remote island is home to wild horses, seals, and a variety of bird species, making it a unique and exciting destination for nature lovers. 20. McNabb's Island This island offers hiking trails, beaches, and historical sites, as well as stunning views of Halifax Harbour. In addition to these attractions, Nova Scotia is also known for its many festivals and events, including the Halifax International Busker Festival, the Celtic Colors International Festival, and the Halifax Pop Explosion. Whether you're interested in history, culture, nature, or food, 
there is something for everyone to enjoy in Nova Scotia. Nova Scotia has a vibrant nightlife with a variety of entertainment options to suit different tastes. Halifax, the capital city of Nova Scotia, is known for its bustling nightlife, but there are also many other towns and cities in the province with their own unique atmosphere. In Halifax, there are many pubs, bars, and nightclubs to choose from, especially in the downtown area. The city's waterfront also has several restaurants and bars that offer live music and outdoor seating during the summer months. Some of the most popular spots in Halifax include the Split Crow Pub, the Dome Nightclub, and the Lower Deck. In addition to Halifax, other towns and cities in Nova Scotia also have their own lively nightlife scenes. Wolfville, for example, is a university town with several bars and pubs that cater to a younger crowd. In Sydney, there are several live music venues that host local and touring bands throughout the year. And in Yarmouth, the Red Night Pub is a popular spot for both locals and tourists, with a cozy atmosphere and live music on weekends. Nova Scotia also has several festivals and events throughout the year that offer unique nightlife experiences. The Halifax Pop Explosion is a music festival that takes place in October and features a mix of local and international bands. The Halifax Seaport Beer Fest is another popular event, featuring craft beer from around the province and beyond. Overall, whether you're looking for a quiet night out at a local pub or an energetic night on the dance floor, Nova Scotia has plenty of options to choose from. Nunavut Nunavut is a territory in northern Canada, located east of the Northwest Territories and north of Manitoba. It is the largest and newest territory in Canada, having been established in 1999, and is home to a unique culture and stunning natural beauty. Population Nunavut has a population of just over 39,000 people, most of whom are Inuit. The territory is sparsely populated, with many small communities located throughout the region. Popular places One of the most popular places to visit in Nunavut is the capital city of Iqaluit. This bustling community is home to several cultural attractions, including the Nanata Sunaka Tangent Museum and the Arctic Winter Games Arena. Other popular destinations include Oyuitic National Park, which offers spectacular hiking and wildlife viewing opportunities, and the town of Pangertung, which is known for its traditional arts and crafts. Culture The Inuit people have a rich cultural heritage that is celebrated throughout Nunavut. Traditional practices such as hunting, fishing, and storytelling are still an important part of everyday life, and visitors can learn about these traditions by visiting local museums and cultural centers. Inuit art, including carvings, prints, and sculptures, is also a significant part of the culture, and can be found in many galleries and shops throughout the territory. How to live there? Living in Nunavut can be challenging due to the extreme climate and remote location, but many people find it to be a rewarding and unique experience. Residents of the territory enjoy a strong sense of community and are proud of their cultural heritage. Housing, food, and other essentials can be more expensive in Nunavut due to the cost of shipping and other logistical challenges, but there are many programs and resources available to help residents. History The history of Nunavut is closely tied to that of the Inuit people, who have lived in the region for thousands of years. In the 19th and early 20th centuries, European explorers and traders began to visit the area, and there was a significant influx of settlers in the mid-20th century. The territory was created as part of the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement, which recognized the Inuit people's right to self-determination and control over their traditional lands. Art Inuit art is a significant part of the culture in Nunavut, and the territory is home to many talented artists and craftspeople. Traditional art forms include carving, printmaking, and sewing, and contemporary artists are also exploring new forms of expression. Visitors to Nunavut can learn about Inuit art by visiting galleries and studios, and many communities offer workshops and classes. What to do to live in To live in Nunavut, it is important to be prepared for the unique challenges of living in a remote and extreme climate. Residents must be self-sufficient and prepared for long periods of isolation, particularly in the winter months. Good communication skills and a willingness to work collaboratively with others are also important, as the sense of community is strong in Nunavut. Climate, the climate in Nunavut is extremely cold and harsh, with long, dark winters and short, cool summers. Temperatures can drop as low as minus 50 degrees Celsius in the winter months, and blizzards and other extreme weather events are common. However, the territory also enjoys long periods of daylight during the summer months, and the stunning natural beauty of the region makes it a popular destination for adventure travelers. Best time to visit, the best time to visit Nunavut depends on your interests and preferences. 
the summer months, from June to August, offer the most pleasant weather and the best opportunities for outdoor activities such as hiking, wildlife viewing, and fishing. After the winter months, Nunavut experiences a transitional period in the early spring when temperatures start to rise and the snow and ice begin to melt. This time of year can be muddy and wet, but it also offers a unique opportunity to see the landscape transform as the snow and ice give way to new growth and wildlife emerges from hibernation. In the late spring and summer months, Nunavut experiences 24-hour daylight, also known as the midnight sun. This time of year is popular for outdoor activities such as hiking, camping, and fishing, as the weather is generally mild and the scenery is breathtaking. Fall in Nunavut is brief but beautiful, with the changing colors of the leaves and the crisp, cool air signaling the coming of winter. This time of year is also a popular season for hunting, as it is when many animals prepare for the long winter ahead. Overall, Nunavut offers unique and distinct seasons that showcase the territory's natural beauty and highlight the challenges and rewards of living in the Arctic. Nunavut is also known for its unique and vibrant culture, which reflects the history and traditions of the Inuit people. The territory has a rich oral storytelling tradition, with stories often passed down through generations. Inuit art, including carvings and prints, is also a significant aspect of the territory's culture, and many communities have art galleries and studios showcasing local works. For those looking to live in Nunavut, it is important to note that it can be a challenging environment due to its remote location, harsh climate, and high cost of living. However, the territory offers a unique and rewarding lifestyle for those who are up for the challenge. Many jobs in Nunavut are in fields such as education, healthcare, and government, and there are also opportunities for entrepreneurship and small business ownership. In terms of climate, Nunavut experiences long, cold winters with temperatures frequently dropping below minus 30 degrees Celsius, and short, cool summers with temperatures rarely rising above 10 degrees Celsius. The territory is also known for its stunning natural phenomena, such as the northern lights, which can be seen from many parts of Nunavut during the winter months. The best time to visit Nunavut depends on what you're interested in seeing or doing. The summer months offer opportunities for outdoor activities like hiking and wildlife viewing, while the winter months provide the best chances to see the northern lights. However, it's important to note that traveling to Nunavut can be more difficult and expensive than other parts of Canada due to its remote location and limited transportation options. In summary, Nunavut is a unique and beautiful part of Canada that offers incredible opportunities to experience the rugged beauty of the Arctic wilderness, learn about the history and culture of the Inuit people, and explore a part of the world that few people ever have the chance to see. While living in Nunavut can be challenging, those who are up for the adventure will find a rewarding and fulfilling lifestyle unlike any other. Nunavut is a unique and remote destination, and as such, it offers a range of attractions that showcase the territory's natural beauty, cultural heritage, and outdoor activities. Here are 10 of Nunavut's top attractions. 1. Oyuitic National Park. This park is located on Baffin Island and offers visitors stunning views of glaciers, fjords, and mountains. It's a popular destination for hiking and wildlife viewing, as the park is home to polar bears, caribou, and other Arctic animals. 2. The Northern Lights. Nunavut is one of the best places in the world to view the Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis. Visitors can take guided tours or go on their own to see the vibrant and colorful light displays in the dark winter skies. 3. Iglulik. This community on Iglulik Island is known for its traditional Inuit culture and art. Visitors can experience Inuit music, dance, and storytelling, and view the art of local carvers and printmakers. 4. Apex Trail. This hiking trail is located in Iqaluit, Nunavut's capital city, and offers panoramic views of Frobisher Bay and the surrounding landscape. It's a moderate hike that takes about two to three hours to complete. 5. Hudson Bay. This large body of water is home to a range of marine wildlife, including beluga whales, seals, and polar bears. Visitors can take guided tours to see these animals in their natural habitats. 6. Nanook Lodge. This remote lodge is located on the coast of Hudson Bay and offers visitors a chance to experience the traditional Inuit way of life. Guests can go fishing, hunting, or dog sledding, and learn about the customs and traditions of the local Inuit people. 7. The Katanalik Territorial Park. This park is located on southern Baffin Island and offers visitors a chance to see the unique tundra landscape of Nunavut. The park is home to caribou, arctic foxes, and a range of bird species. 8. Katanurpaak National Park. This park is located on the northernmost tip of Ellesmere Island and offers visitors an opportunity to explore one of the most remote and untouched wilderness areas in the world. 
It's a popular destination for hiking and wildlife viewing. 9. The Arctic Bay. This community is located on the northern coast of Baffin Island and is known for its rich Inuit culture and history. Visitors can see traditional Inuit art, visit local museums, and experience the unique way of life of the Inuit people. 10. Sermilic National Park. This park is located on the northern tip of Baffin Island and offers visitors a chance to see some of the most dramatic and stunning landscapes in Nunavut. The park is home to glaciers, fjords, and a range of wildlife, including polar bears, caribou, and arctic foxes. In conclusion, Nunavut offers a range of attractions that showcase the territory's natural beauty, cultural heritage, and outdoor activities. Visitors can experience the unique way of life of the Inuit people, see stunning landscapes, and encounter some of the world's most fascinating wildlife. With its remote location, Nunavut is a destination like no other, and it offers visitors an unforgettable experience. Thanks for watching.